Om Jnana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Here you have someone at 86 years old is traveling around the world, you know, in his late, in his, from his mid 70s to his mid 80s, traveling all over the world, translating, you know. Krishna in the very beginning days. He was practically the only adult. The Bhaktivedanta Book Trust was set up by Srila Prabhupada in the early 70s solely for the production and the distribution of his books. He was writing all of these books uh, which you see on the wall here. We have 17 volumes of uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita, 30 volumes of the Srimad Bhagavatam. It was an ama amazing production. Every morning he would get up at 12 o'clock, you, you know, at midnight and to begin perfection of religion is when we serve God without any motivation. There's no reason behind it. We're not wanting something from God. We're not praying for a cure for cancer. We simply want to serve God on, without motivation and without interruption, without no distraction. You will find this tradition of chanting the holy names of God, of the Supreme, in practically every legitimate spiritual tradition. So when we chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare, something that we Hare Krishna devotees do every day. We chant minimum at least an hour and a half every day. And the more you chant, the more you want to chant. Because the more you associate with Krishna and the more your love begins to awaken, then the more excited, more dynamic, more uh, alive one feels in connecting with Krishna. So this process of associating with the Supreme and purifying our consciousness by the, it's called Shabda Brahman, it's not a material sound, it is a spiritual sound vibration. I am the life of all that lives, and I am the parents of all ascetics. So the life of everybody out there, that is Krishna, is living for us. What are we going to do? We're going to beat on the Brihad Murdanga drum, the drum that sounds all around the world, destroying fruit of desires of everybody. We're going to Ocean Beach and uh, hopefully performing some Sankirtan Yaga with the mercy of Lord well, Chaitanya and delivering some conditioned souls to Krishna consciousness, remembering their original position to serve to Krishna. Yupidu. What's that? Yupidu. Yupidu? No, Hare Krishna. Oh, Hare Krishna. <laughs> Krishna 
consciousness is the most pleasurable thing there is. And I mean, as was already said, it's easy. You just add Krishna. And that is what Krishna consciousness means, is just transforming what you're doing with Krishna in mind. My name is Alex Puigas. I'm from, uh, I grew up in Florida, in the United States. A little town called Fort Myers. Uh, not much history there, you know, not much went on there. I went to high school there and then eventually decided to go the university route uh, in uh, northern Florida. But, but I was very involved with the music, uh, music scene. I was playing uh, guitar, playing in bands for many years. So I was very into, early on, into expression through art and music and got interested in expansion of consciousness like this uh, um, early on, probably near the end of high school. So that carried on into my college years. And um, from there, just so many things happened that ultimately led me to this path. But, um, At first I was afraid of coming to the temple because I, I felt like it really, um, it really would take me in a pure devotee, you know, being like a, a Buddha-like uh, character to, to really uh, not want to kill myself <laughs> after, to oh, go over the top, but, uh, um, but no, like it, it, the way that, that it was explained to me is that it's, it's here as, as, as a hospital, you know, it, it, we're all sick out here, and, and this is a place, an oasis, you could say, even to where we could get better. I thought I needed so much before coming, you know, whether it was weed or, you know, friends to kick it and drink some beers with or however, but really, uh, really that, that satisfaction's found, found within and, and if I can be satisfied with so little, why do I need so much? Why do I need to extend myself for false, false needs? People come and go. We have people who stay for a few months, we have people who stay for a few years, we have people who stay for their life. Uh, it requires a high degree of commitment to be a full-time devotee. A pure devotee is someone who everything they do and every thought they have is for Krishna. Um, they have, there's no selfishness in their consciousness at all. This is Tilak. It's a sacred clay coming out of out of India. We mark the body with in different locations and, and chant mantras yeah. to purify and really remind ourselves of the fact that this body is a temple, something not to be exploited, you know, but really uh, used in uh, in service to Krishna. One thing in this is body. body. All, all along, along has, has not changed. changed. It, is it is the same thing, thing that was constant all throughout that, that has, has been recording, recording and, is, and going is going to continue to record, to record these changes. changes. And that, that is you, the observer, the, observer, the, soul. the soul. The two lines right here represent the two feet of Krishna. So Krishna's got his feet on our head, which kind of represents our surrender to Krishna. And... This right here represents a Tulsi leaf. Tulsi is a sacred basil. It's a type of basil plant, but it's sacred. Um, and we believe that Tulsi is actually a goddess, a great goddess. She's considered incredibly sacred to Vaishnavas. Krishna claims in the Vedas that he won't accept any offering 
that is not offered with Tulsi when she's available. So she's kind of the life and soul of the temple. Um, basically, my, my duties here are to make sure that she is watered and taken care of. Uh, make sure that I get leaves from her every day. And just make sure she's doing okay. And so I'm done. One more prayer. Krishna don't ask it nothing without this, this plan. That much is just apologizing if you hurt her when you're picking up her leaves and jars. So, everything we eat, we offer to Krishna first. And we use a little bell. We always ring the bell when we offer to Krishna. So now it's offered to Krishna. Um, and we'll let Krishna enjoy it for about 5-10 minutes. And then when Krishna's done, I'll take it off the altar and I'll mix it back in with the main um, pot of food. And then it'll be prasadam and we can eat it. Srila Prabhupada was standing on a balcony and he was looking at something. One of our senior monks saw Prabhupada looking at something, came to the balcony and wanted to see what Prabhupada was looking at. And Prabhupada was looking at this garbage pit. And it was just after, there was probably maybe 300, 400 devotees in Mayapur at the time. Everyone had just finished lunch and thrown their leaf plates and their cups into this pit. There was an old lady, a few children and a dog, maybe several dogs, and they were all looking through that pit to just find a little, some morsel, some maybe it was a little something stuck. You know. And the senior monk, Bhavananda was his name, Bhavananda turned to Srila Prabhupada. And he said, sometimes I feel sorry for these people, so sorry for these people. And he said, Prabhupada turned to him with a look, and tears were actually flowing from Prabhupada's eyes. And Prabhupada said, why just sometimes? Prabhupada said, actually, no one within eight miles of the temple should go hungry. And Prabhupada started our Food for Life program, you know, for feeding the people in the free prasadam distribution, a nice, healthy vegetarian meal. And we now have the largest vegetarian free meal program in the world. Nice to meet you. So, right now we are cooking for the Sunday feast. Uh, we, we do this weekly. Actually, we call it Krishna Fest every week. It's a big festival every week. Cook for about a couple hundred people. And um, a lot of fun, a lot of work. A lot of fun, very rewarding. Very nice um, preparations, mainly traditional Indian dishes. Some of Krishna's favorite dishes. Music is considered uh, in the scripture to be one of the highest offerings that one can give to God because through music and dance we offer our heart, our soul, our body, our mind, and it's like a full uh, meditation. Now let us take one minute for all provisions and expression of devotion. Feel free to stand, sit, or bow down. Go or any time. Radha Giridhar is our main deity, and then Jagannath Baladeva Subhadra. This two set of these deities we As that's explained also in Bhagavad Gita, it can be the best friend, can be our best friend or our worst enemy. 
The San Diego Office of Education joins 102.1 KPRI in a citywide search for the best teachers. Nominations are open now at kprifm.com. Get program details at kprifm.com. I'm not interested to go to the movies or or even go to the beach. We live close to the beach, but when you're absorbed in Krishna consciousness, you can't imagine doing anything else. It's uh, very easy to become a monk here at the temple. Um, the only requirements are is that you chant your 16 rounds a day on your prayer beads, that you follow the four regulative principles, no meat eating, no gambling, no intoxication, including caffeine and cigarettes, um, and no illicit sex. It isn't just an instruction from an ordinary Joe Schmo, you know, saying, oh, well, I think, oh, da 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 No, it's not about that. Not in, in any of Prabhupada's books will you ever find him say, I, I think. That people, people do not understand why they're doing what they're doing. And it's so true. Like, people in this material world, um, in your city, your hometown, or however, they, they feel that, um, that they're the controller of everything that's going on. You know, their whole life, the whole universe is centered around them. You know, they're, they're, they're the pinpoint. And yet they, they, have, they have no sense control. They, they, can't, they, can't, um, they can't get beyond things that are so simple, you know, to, to understand. That's, that's our whole philosophy is um, high thinking, of course, but with, with simple living. The scriptures of Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam offer an eternal solution to this. Forget this body, forget this world, leave it behind by transporting our consciousness to our eternal loving relationship with Krishna and go to Krishna, go back to Krishna. Then there's no more problems. We don't have money. <laughs> we don't uh, work for money. We don't, um, we don't desire to collect and achieve money as Ramachari temple devotees. We're going on by the mercy of Krishna. Practical manifestations of that is that we have a congregation that donates. We have a, a college program for a lunch program, both at San Diego, San Diego State and UCSD. I think they're up to 400 uh, plates a day. And that brings in income. We, have, uh, we sell books. This is our family business. We give Divya Gyan or Transcendental Knowledge and people give some money back. So by contributions, by prasadam distribution, that's the college program, lunch program, and by selling books. But ultimately it's by Krishna's mercy. But it is really a huge entanglement. We're wearing this because it shows people how much we are focused on spiritual life. Um, and it reminds you of what you're doing. Uh, but furthermore, these, these, the actual saffron color is uh, representational of the, uh, what's, what's called the Brihad Vrata, uh, the Great Vow, the Great Vow of Celibacy. We, had, we do aspire to return home because the idea uh, in the Vedas which we're trying to achieve this realization is that we are not from this world. It's like a hotel. We came here to stay for a short time, but ultimately our soul has to go. So we should return back home. And that's why we tell people this is a movement called Back to Godhead, Back to Home. We're here today at SDSU to uh, distribute uh, food from our temple to uh, the students and also to distribute literature, uh, Srila Prabhupada's books. 
and uh, hopefully get people interested in spiritual life. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Well, we say Hare Bol or Hare Krishna. 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 Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs>